in my experience in Southern Africa, already in the early uh, 2000s, we, we came across the, the, the issue of reconciling competing interests and claims at, at various scales and levels in the, in the, in the field of water. Now, we water engineers, uh, we, we know a lot of, about the, 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 the physical flows of water, but uh, actually how to deal with uh, reconciling these, these, these uh, competing interests, we are not good at it. We, we think that we can simply, uh, by explaining the, 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 the biophysical and technical aspects, people will, will, will behave rationally from the engineering perspective, but that's not how it works. So. Uh, we thought, okay, let's add uh, uh, a specialization to the existing water management program, which is specifically targeting how to uh, foster cooperation over water. We called it water conflict management for perhaps uh, the wrong reasons. It, 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 it sounds perhaps attractive, but uh, more than half of the course is, is focusing on, on, on cooperation, I would say, rather than conflict. And of course, we, we are... We, we do not have, as engineers and water professionals, we often do not have the, the, the skills and the tools to, uh, to uh, facilitate such uh, processes to come to agreements over, over sharing water. And we need specialists for that. Mm -hmm. so, so in our program, we, we have uh, a very strong uh, input from specialists from outside the, the, the institute who are specializing uh, in the issue of reconciliation, uh, mediation and, and conflict transformation over water. And we are very happy that they are always willing to come to, to Delft to share their fast experiences uh, with the, the new batches of uh, cohorts of, of students. But what I have noticed, what we have in class is typically some people who have an engineering background who want to go into uh, more in, the, in, the, in these issues of, of uh, uh, let's say, facilitating social processes. And we have uh, more social science-oriented uh, people who want to venture into the, also in, in, get to know better the water uh, uh, dimension. So I've seen, for instance, lawyers enrolling in this program, and then at one moment they have to pass a certain hurdle. They have to do a course on, on water systems, which is, a natural science topic and it is uh, it is a real challenge for them as a social scientist to, to, to understand some of the water quality, water quantity, hydrology issues. But once they have passed that exam, and they, I think they all passed so far, they are very proud of what they have achieved and then they know that they are one of the few social scientists who also have uh, the basic knowledge to engage with the, the, the natural science uh, and the engineers, which gives them an, an edge, which gives them really uh, an edge over others uh, who, who have not followed such a course. Now, and the same holds for the engineers. They have to follow, for instance, a course on water governance. In, in the first instance, they think there's a lot of uh, water talk, as they say, but uh, eventually they also appreciate uh, the importance of that. There is a joint learning, because in, the, in class, these different disciplines and backgrounds are sitting next to each other and they jointly appreciate each other's uh, what they what what they what each of the students bring to the class rather than what they don't have so so that's i think very positive uh, chemistry that i've uh, noticed uh, we do a lot of skills training one of our our lectures always uses a video so that uh, people learn to to uh, to negotiate but then they also it's kept on it's it's captured on camera and then uh, people are confronted with their own uh, uh, behavior and, 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 and also body language, which is uh, a typical thing that, that people uh, may not have done before and, uh, and, and they like it a lot. Although in the beginning it is a bit, uh, you know, it becomes, it confronts yourself with, with, your, with your, own, uh, your own image. We do a lot of role plays and uh, what's also very nice is that we get the students out of their water habitat at here at IHE. And we, we go to uh, the, the quite re renowned uh, Klingendal Institute, which is a small uh, castle actually in The Hague, where uh, a completely different breed of people uh, uh, are present. So for instance, you see the generals with all their nice uh, uh, uniforms who are getting training in diplomacy. And this different uh, atmosphere 
is I think also a very uh, interesting uh, exposure that uh, we give the students, as well as, for instance, uh, to attend a, a session of the, 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 the International Court of Justice in the Peace Palace in The Hague, which is also uh, quite interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> So nearly everywhere in the world you see that the water consumption patterns are on the rise. People need more water for food, for, for, for everything, for industries, for, for the environment. So the pressure on the resources is, is, is rising. And at the same time you see that uh, the, the, the variability in water availability is, is also increasing. So we have, people have to deal with uh, periods of droughts and, and periods of, of abundance and floods, destructive floods and storms and disasters. And all this impinges on, on people, and uh, people have to deal with it. So, what we see is that water users, first of all, think of themselves to satisfy their own needs. But what we have to, to learn is that each water user also has to, to take account of the similar needs that others have to also uh, satisfy their needs. And so, so the big, big issue is to, to foster this, uh, this culture of water sharing. And interestingly, if we talk about water, there is this basic disposition in, in, in the human mind and in the human body that water is there for sharing. Because everybody knows that it is not humans who make the water, but it is, uh, it's coming from heaven, literally, and. Uh, and therefore, uh, nobody can, can just uh, uh, just monopolize it for him or herself. So, and that, so, so this, I think that is the big challenge. And this challenge of water sharing has to be dealt with and tackled at different spatial skills. It starts at, at the most local level between two farmers that share a, a water source, but it goes all the way up to countries that share. This, uh, this, uh, riparian countries that share a river and um, so what what people should learn is not only the biophysical connections that the water the physical water flow connects people but also the social dimension and eventually also a kind of a normative dimension that indeed uh, we should take the needs of, uh, of all uh, people into account now, so, so we, we try to do this in, in, uh, in, uh, in throughout our lectures. We, uh, we, 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 I've mentioned that we do role plays, but we also have. You, know, you have to, to have a good understanding of what are the, 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 the current, what is the current state of, of, of law, uh, both at the national and at the international level, with respect to water, environmental resources. Um, as I said, we need to have a good and sound by a physical understanding of, of, of the water systems and uh, also uh, the, the human and, and the ecological uses of that water. So I think uh, the whole package together uh, that we offer here at UNESCO IG provides, uh, I think, a good uh, um, back, uh, backdrop for, for what uh, we think that uh, uh, our graduates need when they go back there and have to solve the real issues uh, on the ground. And, and as you may if you now read uh, in the papers that water conflicts do uh, are on the rise, especially at the local level, and sometimes this uh, really culminates in uh, in ugly scenes that uh, that are very difficult to uh, to solve, and, and we need a new uh, generation of water experts, I would say, who can uh, who can try to to deal with that. But it's uh, it's one of the most uh, uh, challenging topics, I would say. That, that water persons, water experts can, can deal with. If, if people are really interested in this topic, then they, I think they have to read a lot. They, it would be very uh, interesting for, for people interested in this topic to, uh, to read some of the, 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 the ways in which societies have tried to deal with uh, uh, water and how also customary arrangements have, have emerged around uh, the sharing of water. We can learn a lot of, uh, of these, I wouldn't call it traditional, but these customary uh, arrangements that have emerged in, in Asia, but also in Africa and also in uh, Latin America, which, you know, provides really rich materials to think of how we can in the future organize our water 
uh, management in, in, a, in a more just and a more efficient way. And uh, there are really beautiful examples of, of uh, how, for instance, uh, uh, for instance in North, North Africa, um, uh, conflicts over water are being resolved in a, in a completely different way than in, in, in a legalistic way. And the, the, always the, 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 the objective is not to look back, but to look forward and to think of how can we open up and, and continue to, to or re, uh, restart, reset the, the, the relationship so that in future we can still keep on sharing the water peacefully. So it is not retributive, but uh, forward-looking. And I think this, this customary uh, uh, ways of dealing with water, even in the technical design, and there's beautiful examples in, in, in uh, for instance, Asia, on, on how equity principles are, are embodied physically in, in, in indigenous designs of, for instance, irrigation schemes. I think we can, that can inspire us so that we, we look at, at water in a different way and which will certainly help to, uh, to equip us for the challenges that lay ahead. Okay. Of course, we should be a bit modest, but I think if, if we scan uh, the, 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 the courses that exist in this world on, on, on the topic of water conflict and water cooperation management, then there's only a few places where this is being offered at this moment. And I think at IHG we have the unique environment where um, uh, we have all the, the, the various disciplines within one house. And uh, moreover, uh, at UNESCO IACB are like a small uh, United Nations where you will find very many different uh, nations, uh, cultures uh, in, in one class so that uh, uh, students can really benefit from all the, the the different perspectives that uh, that exist, and then we, we are so, as I as I started, uh, we are very happy that uh, we can uh, invite uh, some of the best world-renowned uh, teachers and instructors from all over the world who are willing to come to to, to Delft to share their vast experiences with uh, with our students. So I'm very happy about that, and and uh, I would uh, really encourage everyone to uh, to come to Delft. First of all, is there must be a very strong motivation mm -hmm. for the topic, because it is not easy. For a lawyer to follow some of the water quality uh, lectures, although it is, it is uh, 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 basic stuff, it is a challenge. But the experience learns that if you are really motivated, you can pass. And it, the same holds for the engineers, as I was saying. So, first of all, there should be a strong motivation. Now, this, this the motivation comes from experience, because you, you only have this, this, this motivation because you have seen something in your own uh, uh, professional or, or otherwise life <clears throat> that, you, that you really want to work on, on water peace in the future. Now, furthermore, we, we, you need to have a good uh, first degree, but it can be any first degree that has some re uh, relation to water and environment. So it can be a social scientist, Bachelor's or bachelor in, in engineering or or, or um, biology or law, anything. But the most important one is that people should be have a strong motivation to uh, to make a difference in this world and to become perhaps the the, the future water peacemakers of this world.